Hey everybody, it's Chris from Chris's Train Layout. Um, it is the beginning of December 2018 and we are well overdue for a layout update. Um, because of the summer months, I didn't do too much uh, on the layout. I have started uh, the past about six weeks doing some work here and there. Um, so I wanna kinda show you what's been going on, um, what's new, and kinda the plans for this winter's work on the layout. So let's get started. Where we'll start is the work that's been done here by the trestle bridge. Uh, all I've done right now is added some, some ground cover in underneath the bridge. We've added some ground cover in around here to fill in these gaps. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting. Um, some ground cover here and around the edges. So we're just about ready to put some water features in. Um, as we move up, you'll see there's some, some more ground cover in here in this area. And then eventually we'll have the water, um, water here with a waterfall effect, a pond, and then We'll have another waterfall coming down into this lower pond and hopefully have some recreation down here as well. The most progress um, over the past couple weeks has been to this upper level area. Um, I wanted to get this um, cabinet factory put on here. This is from Menards um, and I had it for about a, two years sitting in a box. So I finally was able to get it on the layout. So what have we done up here? Uh, pretty much every all the scenery that you see is new. Um, we were able to um, ballast some track here get this siding put in and powered. Um, we have the switch powered as well. Um, got the factory down on the table and then added some ground cover. Um, if you've seen in some previous videos, there's a hole in the middle of the layout right here, which is a pop-up. So that's been, um, I've added a cap to it and then scenic around that as well. So I can pop that up and work from, from that area of the layout. What else is new up here? We've got some new buildings. So we've got an old, uh, like garage building over here and then we've got uh, a kind of an old school station platform in the back there that's not the final location for that station but that's just where it's sitting for right now um, and then we've got a small outbuilding here um, this is not where this is going to stay but it's just um, kind of where I have it sitting for the time being uh, and then all the ground cover that you see is new so we've added some trees right back up here we've added some more trees to this hillside I um, haven't decided what I'm going to do with them. Obviously, we have the long pole pine and then some small pine trees. They don't really match. So some of those, that stuff will get moved around. Uh, but for the most part, this is looking pretty pretty good. We've got um, kind of a gravel roadway that comes in and weaves around that will cross over back towards that station eventually. Um, and then we'll continue to scenic the rest of this top level. So here we are inside that pop-up. So you can see the lid here. Um, so this is the siding that we just, that has just been put in. Uh, we've got it uh, ballasted. Here's the view from, from this area of the layout. So we've still got kind of a hot mess over there, but we'll look at that in a minute. Um, here is this cabinet factory. So you'll notice um, we've got it kind of blended right in. Um, we've got the roadway that kind of blends into it. I've got to fill some, some gaps in here. Um, and you can see where the, that's cracked there with that road. That'll all get fixed up eventually. Um, but it's a nice little siding that we've got here. So um, this is, if we spin around, that little garage shop that we have, this just got put in the other day. So this roadway will bend around here, kind of fade off and cross the track here. And then we've got this little station platform as well. I do plan to put some more buildings in this upper level. I'm not sure exactly what yet. Some Something old, maybe a farmhouse, things like that. Uh, keep it more of a rustic, um, old time feel. And then with that pop up open, you can kind of see there's that hole in the layout. So it blended in pretty well. Uh, basically what I did was I took um, some plywood cut the edges off the plywood and then I put them on the table um, so it would fit perfectly in between. And then I just used some sculpt mold to kind of fade that uh, three quarter inch plywood into the rest of the table. So uh, it just blends in, just looks like a little bit of a, a grade difference, which just provides another dimension on the layout. So that came together pretty well. Back over on this end of the layout, all we've done, um, added a couple more trees, some ground cover um, over here. Not permanent, obviously you can see we've got some trees that are angled, they've kind of fallen down, they're not anchored correctly just yet. Um, and then we've added the rest of the wall, that retaining wall there. You'll see the cracks, those will get filled in with some ground cover. We see some foam here, that's the start of that. That wall needs to get some a little bit of weathering to it. We'll fill in the, the bottom as well, but it's a start for now. Down here, we've also added some ground cover around this platform. This was supposed to be an auto rack yard initially, Started starting to change my mind on how that's going to look when it's all said and done. Uh, might make it an engine like a diesel service facility. Uh, I think that would serve a better purpose than for an auto rack yard. Um, so that's still up in the air for right now. 
But in the meantime, I have added a little dirt side road that's gonna kind of cut in and across here. Um, eventually this, that, this road will come over and I've got this little dip here in the layout. Um, this is from where we've got the, the um, top level of the table and it goes down about a half an inch um, to just the plywood. Um, this will get blended in more. I'm thinking about making this a big lake and then putting some kayakers in or some canoers, maybe some, um, some people fishing, just more of a scene within this mountain itself. So that's kind of just an idea that's been bouncing around in my head. Uh, that's the most um, that we've been doing working on so far on the layout itself. We'll just kind of pan back across. There might be some little details here or there um, that have been done, but for the most part, not too much has been going on. Um, but I have been working on one other project, so let's go check that out. So back here um, on my workstation in the storage area of my basement, um, I've been working on some weathering. Um, I've got some other videos on weathering on the channel. Uh, this is the first time I've done it with locomotive. So this is the new Lionel Atlantic E6 um, that I got a couple weeks ago. There's a video of this that I posted. Um, a couple people asked me some questions about this locomotive. Um, one thing being, is there builder's plates? And the answer to that question is no. There are not, and when I initially made that video, I was rushing to get it out, I didn't even notice myself, but you can see there is an indentation for the builder's plates, but there is no builder's plate there. Um, I did email um, Lionel about that, and they said they do not have any replacement parts yet, so email them back in a couple months. Um, a bit of a disappointing response from Lionel. Seems like a pretty um, easy piece to have, and um, I don't know how that got past uh, their QA line, but it did. Uh, but either way, this is a great locomotive. So I've been working on weathering this to make it look really, really used. Um, I live relatively close to Strasburg, so I see small locomotives like this going back and forth all the time. Um, so I wanted to kind of model it off of those, um, and then they can pull the MTH Strasburg cars that I have on my layout. So this has been weathered with some powders as well as some, um, some airbrushing. Um, so it's coming together really, really well. Uh, once this is all wrapped up, I'll probably um, have a video of it running on the layout, pulling some of those Strasburg cars that I have. So that's all we've got for right now. Quick update, um, my goals for the next few weeks, continue working on that upper level, um, and then probably some, some areas down in here by the yard. Um, really focusing my attention on this half of the layout as opposed to the turntable area, um, just to kind of mix things up a little bit. So that's my goal. Um, also work on balancing some more tracks. So, um, some general, uh, general items. And then when I see buildings pop up online that are for sale, or I see a kit that I like, I'll buy that and add that to the layout as well. So that's where we are at this point. Um, thanks for tuning in and hopefully I will have an update out again soon.